All right, well, let's check out one of your runs in the uh, Hermitage GS from uh, the morning session. We'll watch it in regular motion and slow it down. Drew at the top. Drew, wait for Brian. He shoots video. He'll be with you in touch. I think you said what just happened when you went through the undergate, and you actually did it correctly. Most of the kids uh, were going on the wrong side, so good job. Um, let's try to quiet down the pole plant. Really just a touch, particularly in GS. Um, tap to the side, little pole swing, slight touch. Not a major pole, pole point like that. You're picking your hand way up and stabbing and we just don't we just don't need that. What that does promote is sort of standing up really kind of tall in between the turns and we want to move forward. Little tap maybe, little touch, little pole swing, but we don't need to pick this hand up like that. Decent turn. We're, we're working on trying to get higher edge angles at the top of the turn, right? Looking to arc the top of the turn, and, and we're we're getting there. A little bit, a little bit of skidding, as you can see, but good effort. Let's really try to roll them up at the top of the turn. Now here, you kind of chucked them sideways and skidding down, and really, you know, top of the turn skidding. So. We want to intersect rise line with our skis pointing out and away from the pole. So we arc back to the pole. Um, the idea of this, if you can see it, that stubby, well, that stubby out here, you were supposed to um, intersect rise line with your skis pointing at it. It was set up like that. And there's a brush there that we can't see behind the panel indicating the rise line. So you came to the brush, skis pointing out there brush shape back, but obviously you came in with your skis, you were near the rise line with your skis pointing where? Straight down the hill because you kind of chucked them sideways. So got to have confidence, Will, in, in yourself and your skis to be able to roll them up and arc the top of the turn. Better job there. All right, now you rolled them up, arcing a little better. That's a good, that's a good looking turn. Now here was the undergate where you just said, what's going on? And you did it right. You came through. Perfect. One of the few. And we just talked about kind of arcing the top. Obviously the spray there, skidding the top of the turn. That, that's really what, what slows you down a lot. Um, you know, when you arc clean turns, the speeds increase. So your times would go way down if you got rid of this skid in the top of the turn. Because that kind of kills all your time. So that's a good looking turn there. He came in, a little more arc on the top, a little better separation. You can see your feet off from underneath a little bit more, level shoulder, that's a good turn. So you can do it. We really need to work on when you're free skiing to and from the the, the, the uh, tr uh, course. You got to work on trying to get nice separation, upper and lower body, getting the feet out from underneath you, rolling them up and arcing the whole way down. Remember that game? How low can you go? Let's see you get your hip down low with your feet out from underneath you with level shoulders. But it has to be something you work on out of the course and perfect it there before we bring it in the course. So. Make sure you're practicing with a focus on every run, free ski, to and from the course, etc.